hello everyone so today i'm going to implement a way to define the max speed so here as you can see in the left corner you can see a number so this is the speed of the bike as you can see it doesn't exceed thousand so that's the maximum forward speed and when the character reverse when the bicycle reverse it doesn't also exceed uh, or go lower than minus 200 it's always clamped at minus 200 so the maximum reverse speed is minus 200 uh, 200 200 or maximum and maximum forward speed is 1000 so those are the two things I'm going to work on today defining a maximum forward speed and maximum reverse speed all right so this is what i want to do i want to limit the speed of when the character reverse uh, actually i tried playing with all these uh, settings available in let me show you available under the vehicle movement setup here we have talk uh, max talk max rpm and tried with everything but i couldn't find a way to define the max speed when reverse that doesn't mean there there is no way to do that i just don't know how to do it using this existing setup this engine setup so let's do a simpler work around here let me collapse this move forward input setup so that we can oh, wait everything uses vehicle moment command okay let me collapse them all moment right the reason to collapse it is because I need to add some additional code here right so here what we do is we set brake input and throttle input so let me uh, print the speed here how can we get velocity we can get the velocity from the moment component let's uh, get the length vector length and print here oh wait it doesn't change right then get hello city from the actor oh, that works right now as you can see here the speed keep going up there is no tra no really limit as I can see see right so if I really want to limit the speed I think if I here yeah, if I don't add any throttle I think it should stop at that speed so let's say let's have a branch here and check if this speed is less than let's say thousand oh, still it still it goes more than that wait how oh. Let me debug it. 
by keeping it in the other side right then uh, if this is false what if I give this input Now I can actually limit it here. Great. And if I break, okay, now it goes more than thousand. Right. So if I uh, so I'll promote this number as a max forward. right let me make this less complicated by using another vehicle movement component here right now here so this branch allows us to define a max forward speed here let's have another branch and here let's check again if the speed is larger than well here actually we need to consider a negative value so let's multiply this by uh no not really oh wait a minute we implemented a mechanism to find out the reverse speed and forward speed last time using a dot product yeah like this we can get the porn owner uh, we can actually get the velocity and get the forward vector and do a dot product so this will be positive if we are going forward and this will be negative if we are going backward so right so that means we can remove this get actor forward vector and do a dot product and we can use it here it should behave in the same way as before now this should limit at thousand and when we reverse you can see the speed is also reversing right and now in this branch we can check if the speed is less than a particular value let's promote this as um, max reverse speed so actually this should be a negative value I'll say minus 100 only if this uh, uh, reversing speed is less than oh wait it should be larger not less because uh, less than minus 100 means something like minus 150 so we should check for greater oh no actually we can use the same one as well if this is false we can execute this branch that means we can increase the reverse speed further if this is true we can execute this branch to clamp or maintain the existing speed of the reverse let's see ok 
Okay, here it's limited to thousand. And if I reverse, oh, it doesn't go more than hundred. But because of that, you can see the character is kind of shaky. Maybe hundred is not enough. Let's say minus one. That seems better. Right. How about minus one fifty? So it seems fine. Right. All right. So with that, I think we can stop this episode right here. And another problem we have here is now when we are in the idle mode, you can see the hand is not properly on the handlebar on the. Um, what is this called oh, anyway this hand should be here but it's not like that so we need to fix that issue and also foot is not also properly on the ground so why is that actually oh is this offset wrong Oh, sorry it's just I had some wrong value here all I had to do is just adjust in this value see it you can adjust the value to properly place the character on the C right that's a minor thing mm, right so now I can stop this episode right here and yeah actually the other problem is also solved to some extent uh, not perfect but you can see mm, the vertical level is of the hand is okay uh, we need to move the character forward a little bit uh, yeah let's do that also because Initially, I used a full body IK mechanism to uh, drive the whole body of the character. But for this idle animation, I haven't used that. I'm only using I'm using a regular animation. Later on, I need to uh, reintegrate the full body animation to this uh, control rig for this idle state as well. This is only a temporary solution, but let's make it work this the anim with the animation for now. Alright, so here I'm gonna stop this episode. Right, so we have a max forward speed and max reverse speed. Alright. And thanks for watching. So as always project files will be available for the download through the patron page Link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work You can get the membership of the patron club. See you in another episode. Goodbye